driving school seriously long story short we are going in totally untrained what could go wrong whoa nelly all right i think we're racing now oh god look i'm turning jeez oh i'm all over the road oh god break oh, oh god <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and we are cresting our way towards episode 700, guys. This is episode 698, I believe. 698 games, and now we find ourselves playing a game called GTR 2, or GTR Squared. I don't know. Uh, I don't even know what GTR stands for. This is some kind of racing game, actually, which I have heard... Uh, is super popular because it is easy to mod and add your own tracks and cars and as a result it has a lively community keeping it alive and as a bit of a gaming preservationist uh, I think that's awesome uh, I'm not really into racing games too much I have a few select favorite racing games that I've played over the years but for the most part you guys who watch my channel regularly know I'm not the biggest uh, racing game guy um, but I like to give every game a fair shot, and I do love the idea of a community keeping a game alive, so kudos to you, GTR Squared fans, wherever you are. Um, today I am drive racing under the name Jtronic because it felt futuristic, and I still have a bit of a cough. God, will this thing never cease? Funny thing is, I don't have a cough 90% of the day. As soon as I sit down to make a Let's Play, I'm coughing like a madman. Anyway, driving schools for chumps and practices for nerds. Racing solo is for divorced people, so we're just gonna go for a race weekend, baby, or 24 hour races. Right to the championships? Let's just do a race weekend. I mean, r driving school? Seriously? I didn't buy a video game to go to school, man. If you're trying to put me in school, you don't know what why I'm playing video games. Anyway, long story short, we are going in totally untrained. What could go wrong? Um, we're racing in the yellow car. This is Bumpy Yellow is the model of this car. Um, it's known for going fast. We like to race in the late afternoons, I guess. I don't know. Qualify. <laughs> oh, we're racing Saturday at 9 a.m. No way, man. I'm, I'm not getting up that early, even in a video game. No thanks. Okay, let's check the controls here. Um... Now, there's a lot of joystick, it seems. So maybe I will need the joystick. I would rather race on a keyboard, though. Oh, that's much better. And I hope there is uh, automatic shifting. If we have to shift manually, it's going to be... Well, you know what? I say that. I'm like a grown dude. Grown man. I don't know why I said dude. I'm a grown, I'm a grown up for many, many years, many decades. Many four scores have passed as me being old. I don't know why I still am intimidated by shifting. But I'm like, I'm racing. I can't think about shifting. Um, we will, uh, of course, pick automatic if automatic is a thing. But otherwise, you know, I guess we'll just have to wing it. We'll figure it out like we always do. Oh, crap. I didn't realize I was starting to race. I didn't even really look at the controls there. A and Z did something. Um, oh, good. Controls are still here. A is accelerate, Z is brake. Good to know. Shift up and down is alt and right alt. Uh, I, I hate games that have alt as keys because I feel like I'm going to alt tab out of the game. It's like the, the developers had never heard of Windows. Alt is like a special key you should never use in a video game. I forgive the old DOS games where control and alt were like their A and B buttons uh, because that was very common in the DOS era. But in the Windows era, don't you be using alt for anything. Nothing where you have to press something in, in a in a frenzied uh, moment, because then that's where mistakes are made. Anyway, um, this all seems pretty basic. A and Z, and hopefully we don't have to shift. But if we do, uh, wait. Steering left and right are dots. Why, why, why would they not be the left and right arrows? I wonder. Oh, maybe because right alt is uh is uh whatchamacallit a uh gear shift anyway um let's give it a shot man 
Okay, we are pitting out. Whoa, Nelly. All right, I think we're racing now. <laughs> I don't know if we were supposed to start or not, but... Um, oh, uh, here I am holding the up button to accelerate. It's A. Uh, fun fact, I just watched a few clips of Ford versus Ferrari on YouTube. Not in preparation for this video, but literally just sometimes YouTube recommends clips to me, like random clips out of movies they'll start recommending. Like a while back, it was uh, Kids in the Hall Brain Candy, which is a hilarious movie if you've never seen it. I mean, it's a definitely an acquired taste. If you haven't seen it, I don't know if I can actually recommend it to you. Because most people, I think, who watch Brain Candy will be like, what the hell is this? But for you folks who don't know, Kids in the Hall were a Canadian sketch troupe uh, in the 90s. And pretty much all of us kids from the 90s who grew up in Canada know the Kids in the Hall. Some of us love them. Again, their acquired taste are not for everyone. But anyway, uh, YouTube was recommending Brain Candy clips and... Uh, what else has been- oh, for some reason I'm getting a lot of Spider-Man No Way Home clips recommended, which I'm not sad about at all, that's a great, great recent movie. Uh, but yeah, then just randomly today, Ford vs. Ferrari. Uh, which, that one I think I would recommend to everyone, because I feel like that one cuts across interests, you know. Like, Kids in the Hall, Brain Candy, Acquired Taste. Spider-Man No Way Home. If you don't really like Marvel movies, you're not gonna like this. It's one of the better ones, I think, but... You know, maybe it'll just annoy you or something. You won't like it. I, I get that. Ford versus Ferrari, though, I think most people would really like it. It's just a good movie. And this is coming from a guy who doesn't like or play racing games or really care too much about racing. I'm recommending a racing movie. So that's how you know it's a good movie. Um, oh, and funnily enough, oh, God. Hey, we will talk about the game, I promise. But on, on the topic of movies... Uh, YouTube also just recommended Moneyball clips to me, which again, I definitely don't mind. Moneyball is another great movie, and this is coming from a guy who doesn't watch, play, or care about baseball at all. So, again, you can make good movies about topics for which I have no natural interest. Um, and I think those, when I watch a movie like that, where I'm like, wow, I'm not interested in baseball, but this movie is riveting. That's how I know it's like, this is a movie that people should watch. So... I know this series is called A Thousand One Video Games Just Play Before You Die, but movies you should watch before you die include Ford vs. Ferrari and Moneyball. Uh, recommendations from a non-sports guy. Oh my god, we are just like... <laughs> we are putting our team to shame. We're just driving all over the grass and stuff. I wonder, has anyone ever done this in the history of uh, racing? Like, in terms of real racing, do, uh, do sometimes drivers like just totally mess up a turn and they just like drive all over the, uh, you know, all over the course. Oh, look, I'm turning! Jeez, my car is totally non-responsive. Okay, also, I don't know if we're supposed to be racing or if this is practice, but we're doing pretty bad. I want to try and figure out how to... Oh, God! <laughs> well, I did say at the beginning how bad could things get, and, uh, that's how bad. My car doesn't feel very healthy right now. Oh, no, there it goes. Okay, hold on. Um, autopilot on. Switch to con over to AI. Let's see how the AI races for a lap. Let's put my own skills to shame. You know what? Shit, I should I should have edited that part out and not told you guys. And been like, all right, guys, I'm going to dig deep. And then just, like, started racing this way. And you guys were like, whoa, Jay really pulled it together. I mean, Jaytronic. Look at Jaytronic go. Look at him race. He's racing like some sort of AI. Which would be very true, because I would be lying to you. It is, a, it is actually an AI racing. This is maybe the story of my racer is that I'm a racer named Jay. And when things get dicey, I switch over to Jaytronic. And there's like an AI also living in my head. This is like a Disney movie. You know, like it's a, a stay-at-home dad gets zapped by lightning. And now the Jaytronic AI lives in him. And they're sort of like, it's like a buddy cop thing. But then he gets into racing and Jaytronic takes him uh, to the Stanley Cup. Uh, or whatever. Whatever the, the cup is for racing. I know Stanley Cup's a hockey thing. You don't have to leave a comment down below. Um, anyway, well, uh, well, Jaytronic takes all the pressure off of me and, uh, takes the wheel for a bit. Um, I wanted to circle back to the whole idea that this game has been kept alive and is popular due to modders. Um, and... Yeah, I, I, honestly, I feel like modding in video games 
sort of some developers I feel like look at it like hacking and they don't want you to do it uh, other developers are sort of more neutral and they're like eh, if you mod my game whatever but then there's the rare developers who actually support modders and I feel like those developers who actually support modders their games end up having lifespans decades beyond what a normal game has and I don't know why other developers aren't all for modding but like think about something like doom you know, Doom was very easy to mod. You can make your own maps, you can make your own weapons, your own graphics, and there's all sorts of mods for it. There's like a Ghostbusters mod where you can, they've, people have reskinned it and tuned all the weapons into Ghostbusters. Like it's, it's such a moddable game. And like, uh, you know, there's been fan projects to keep it live all the, over the years. Like Brutal Doom is like a modern engine that runs Doom and adds all these modern features. And it's like that modding community exists because the game was easy to mod. Um, and then look at some random other game that came out around the same time. And of course, Doom is in a category all on its own. It was more popular than uh, Windows or DOS at the time. Like, Doom was installed on more computers than Windows. Which is crazy to think about. Um, but some other game from around that era, you know, it's just, it's just forgotten. Um, and yeah, maybe it's because Doom was just insanely popular, but... Uh, I believe it's partially down to modding. And so, I, I, I don't know. I know a pe few people who watch this channel do work for developers and stuff and so maybe they have some industry insight and you know, maybe it's all just down to the financials like you don't want to let people mod your game because then you lose money on sequels and expansions but like the games i have loved the most over the years i feel like a lot of them are moddable not all of them but you know like starcraft for instance i used to make starcraft maps because uh, starcraft maps not only allowed you to make maps but they also had a scripting engine in there so i made like rpgs and stuff once i once i saw a few maps that showed me the way of how you script an RPG in the StarCraft. I was like, holy crap, are you kidding? And I would spend weeks making my own RPG, script all these events and everything. And it was great. It was like a game within a game, you know? Uh, and yeah, modding. I'm, I'm just all for it. I don't know. I don't know why more developers don't do it. Um, the, uh, the fan game that I've been working on the last few weeks, which I bring up occasionally, um, definitely is 100% moddable. Um, so... When that game eventually drops, you guys will be able to play it and uh, make your own campaigns. Your own, you'll be able to change basically everything about how the game functions if you want. Um, so you can create your own different battle games. Um, but anyway, I, I feel like I'm slacking in my Let's Play duties. Like, I don't know if I have like an honored, cherished duty in order to actually play and not just watch. It's nice to sit back and watch someone else play for... for uh, if I'm being honest, like, I get why you guys are watch the channel. You just sit back and watch some other loser, like, have a hard time with all these difficult games. But, uh, I guess I should take the wheel. Alright, we are going to... What does hide menu do? Um, we are going to return to the garage. We're going to select a different race. And... Okay, what, what are, like, accessories and stuff? Menu up. Toggle autopilot. Oh! So I can just press I and you <laughs> you guys won't even know that I turn well you'll know you'll see the uh, the game being played well. Okay, vehicle labels is tab. If you're shifting holding alt and you try to turn on vehicles lab blah. vehicle labels you will exit the game. Poor choice of keys developers. P is for pause. R is for instant replay, huh? Oh, here we go. Left shift is driving view. I wonder if that, like, looks outside of the car. That might be good. Left shift. Okay. And nothing else really matters. All right. And what about realism? Oh, look, everything's on. I was like, oh, we need to, like, turn on some stuff so it gets easier. No, everything is on. Oh, my God. Wait. So if I turn all of this off, I am just curious as to how difficult this will actually get. Turn these to normal. Oh, they don't have a normal. <gasps> it's high, low, or off. Well, we'll leave those on high then, I guess. Um, all right. Oh, I didn't actually want to do that either. Turn to garage. What I wanted to do was find a different event. Saving the hot lap. Um, okay, what's under 24 hour racers? Looks good. 
the Hockenheimring National. I don't even know how to pronounce that track. I'm not going to do well on this driving. I don't know. I, I wish you could actually pick your tracks, though. I must be missing something. I mean, let's just try another... Uh, oh, wait. You can just skip these. Oh, look, and they auto-qualify. Need a warm-up. Look, I'm ra I raced through four races. All right, we are now at the official race. Wow, there's like five races before you race. Two practices, a warm-up, two placing, and then you actually race. I had no idea that to race, you had to race so much. And everyone's in the exact same car. Well, this will be confusing. The fans in the audience are like, yeah, go black car with the gold rims. Slightly more gold than the other one with the silver rims and the other four with the goldier rims. That is so hilariously confusing. <laughs> the, I, I imagine the, like the announcers are up there and they're like, uh, black car is pulling up in another black car and it passes it, but another black car gets in the way. They're not able to pass the black car. Two black cars are coming up with a black car. There's black car. A bunch of black cars have exploded on the track, but black cars are very all around them. <laughs> I knew I was going to cough at the end of that. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Can we actually race? What is happening? Okay. There we go. Begin formation lap. I'm gonna skip that. And we're just- Oh! It's like my guy blacked- Oh, when he woke up, he was in the middle of a race. Alright, out of my way, everybody. Alright, here we go. Oh, yeah, this is what I want. Oh, I'm supposed to drift, right? Oh, and I am still in first gear. Hold on. I will figure this out. Oh, we're in second gear now. Oh, I'm all over the road. I really wish I had that traction control. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, here we go. And we're gonna shift up. Oh, God! Oh, I spun out instantly. It is a van hiding over there. Wait, what? What happened there? Why am I in reverse? Oh, I went into zeroth gear. Huh. That's cool. Uh, okay. Well. I think I've lost everyone. I want to try this this uh, track again. How do you reverse? Is my car dead? Wow, I, I I'm literally borderline handicapped on that one. Uh, okay, restart the race. Wait, no, hold on. Realism. Oh, I can't even alter it. Okay, hold on. Restart the race. Now, realism. Braking help, stability. What? Spin recovery was even on on that. My god. All right. Is there a level below nom novice? <laughs> below novice? Okay, everything is back on. Okay, here we go. Place 36. Skip the formation lap. Just drive when I'm sort of semi-conscious, black out and wake up, and I've placed. Get into the wall! We're gonna race aggressively, Mad Max style. And my guys view the world has already ended in a glorious apocalypse, and it is time. To oh god! Oh, this black car isn't gonna make it, guys! I feel like I'm part of a herd migration. It's just a bunch of black cars. Like, they're like, uh, geese flying south. Oh, God. Why am I spinning out when there's, like, nothing here? Everyone's going so slow. All you have to do is bounce off of other cars, and you guys make the turns really easily. See, look how easy that was. We really screwed that guy. He's like, what the hell, man? Thought we were bros. Thought black cars gotta look out for each other. Oh, we're trading paint. Yeah, baby! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. See, you know I'm not a racing guy when I try and turn every opportunity uh, that I can in this game into, like, some kind of, like, fight. Oh, my God, that guy we screwed over is passing us. Like, truthfully, I would rather be playing a racing game that encouraged destruction. You know, like, this is one of them fancy, like, gentleman's agreement races where nobody's trying to kill each other. But I like the no holds barred, you know, flames coming out of the side of your car, guns falling, flailing, you know, 
guy leaning out of the passenger side with a rebar smashing the hood of passing cars kind of racing game oh god break see there's something I'm not doing I guess I need to break I guess I need to break I was gonna say I, I was gonna say I guess I need to break it turns but I guess I just generally need to break and I need to stay on the bloody course okay well I'm gonna pull it together what is happening Uh, don't, don't look at the top of the screen. I'm just gonna start digging deep now. Oh, here we go. I'm getting the, I'm getting the stride of it. Getting the hang of it here. Ah, uh, so you do have to break. That's the secret there. Oh, look at that! I made a turn! I'm not cheating at all! If you can see me, my hands aren't even on the keyboard. I'm that good at the game, I don't even have to touch it. It's kind of interesting this mode even exists in the game. Yep. Well, I mean, like, we could keep playing this, but I mean, I feel like you guys get the idea. It's a hyper-realistic racing game. It's a game that you're just going to watch me ping-ponging into the walls. Of. Like, there's there's not even a hope I'm going to get good at this, guys. There just literally isn't. And I don't know what I'm showcasing you uh, if you're just watching me fail. So I think for this one, for this... Uh, you know, this game in our Thousand One Quest, we can call this one a little early. Um, in terms of whether this is a game you must play before you die, I really can't judge something that's outside of my area of expertise. But I, what I will say is if you are a racing game and what you have seen the other racers do in this game looks interesting, don't go by anything you see me do here today. But if the other racers, if it looked like fun what they were doing, um... I would encourage you to check this one out and report back and let me know what you think of it because I am very curious and very I very much like the whole uh, mod supporting community so if you do check out this game uh, I got this on Steam for like three bucks I think um, it's cheap and you know it might have a good healthy community with tons of cars tons of tracks tons of content and so yeah if you check it out let us know um, what you think of it, but uh, anyway, that's what I th th those are my thoughts on it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below and uh, You know as always <laughs> I hope I gave you a chuckle if nothing else some games we're good at guys some games Sometimes you gotta know your limits in this in this world, but um, yeah Guys if you've not heard it enough on June 4th, I will be doing my 700th episode. It's Dwarf Fortress. I have no idea how to play that game. I'm live streaming it. Come, it'll be uh, an awesome disaster. Um, or if you do know how to play the game, come and be my gaming Sherpa and help me actually figure something else out. Uh, we're just going to play around with it and do some cool things. I have heard that in Dwarf Fortress you can do all kinds of things. So I'm just excited to go and, and play and explore. And uh, if you guys come and tell me some things I can try, I'll try them. Um, we can just sort of have a nice casual live stream and uh, I can, for the first time, time ever, try, uh, try a classic. So I'm looking forward to trying Dwarf Fortress. And uh, other than that, uh, I will catch you in the next one. So until then, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. We'll see you soon. Peace. Well, I did say at the beginning how bad could things get, and uh, that's how bad.